good afternoon guys check this out the rv storage kind of lean to shanty thing is all done that looks great we got a pile of room to back our fifth wheel in and have enough room for the slides to come out we're gonna have a 50 amp plug there the septic tank is right there that's gonna be mint beautiful and look what else boom car wash bay done Look at how freaking awesome this is. We put a 10 foot garage door in the back too. So you can pull in, wash your vehicle, and then you can pull in the shop if you want to. So you don't gotta, say it's winter time, you pull in, wash it, so you don't gotta drive back outside, open another door, go back in if you don't want to. So just another way to get in. So we made it 12 feet tall. So we've got lots of room for a garage door opener. We had to go with a, uh, waterproof garage door opener was a little bit more money, but just to, so we don't have any issues. See why I tried to make it as sm small as possible so we didn't take up too much room. We still got a ton of room in here, but that's a, that's a good chunk of room right there taken up. But that's going to be invaluable for keeping stuff clean. And we got all that storage up there. So, hoo -hoo, it is freaking windy. And they got this, all our rooms here all sheeted. So we wanted to do a window from the office. We still might, but we have to get a fire rated window. So we're gonna have to look into that because it would be nice to have a nice big window looking out into the shop from the office. So here's the office. Everything's a little dark. Here's the pantry. Hang on, there, that's better. And then there's the walk-in pantry. And from the office, we'll have like a, a sliding barn door that slides and then you can come into the main living quarters. And that's where the kitchen will be, fireplace kind of living room here, uh, access out to the patio there, and then the rest of it all here. So everything is looking really, really awesome. It's so funny, this little hallway. And then here will be the main bathroom for the shop. So you're working out in the shop, boom, you can come in here, there'll be a sink, toilet. This is where a washing machine and dryer will be in here. So that'd be really great. They left these studs out here just so that we'll have no issues getting our tub tub in there So for now. So there's a few more studs. You can see the marks there. A couple more studs got to go in there, but they're just left out right now for ease of access. So, oh, they got the wash machine, water ran. So yeah, electricians were doing a lot today. Plumbers were doing a lot today and the framers finished up today. So she's... Supper time now, so everyone's gone home for the day. But awesome, awesome progress. Oh, I wanted to show you one thing here. So in the utility room here, you can see we went with like a dual zone. So you can operate the top floor and the main floor independently. They're on their own thermostats. So you have like a servo controlling a, a dampener. So you can control separately heat and air conditioning from floor to floor. Our home now, the top floor is like 35 degrees the, and the basement's like 15 degrees Celsius. So it's freezing in the basement, boiling in the upstairs. So this way we'll have, you can set exactly what temperature you want because we weren't sure how it's gonna work with a heated floor on this level and the top level doesn't have a heated floor. So we might have running into some issues trying to heat everything just perfectly. So now we don't have to worry. But with that, you're basically running two sets of supply and return. So it's a bit more work for sure, but it's really nice with these, uh, with this floor system, there's lots of room to run stuff. So those guys got that all, all fixed up. They got the drains all hooked up for the air conditioning and the furnace. That's out here, I'm not sure. This is probably all the same. So maybe I'll drag that generator in. So yeah, I'll bring a bunch more fill in here so we get the level approximately, so we get the air conditioner put out here. SAS Power can't put their meter on, so we are one step closer to actually having power. So that's freaking exciting. So that's where we're at for now. I gotta still take those, <laughs> get up there and take those gay, gall dang tarps off there. They are ripped to shreds. But thank God starting Monday morning, we should have a, a roof on it. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. She looks a little, a little scary. 
You guys are probably wondering why we went with the extra hassle and extra expense of 400 amp power. But here's why. So out here, we're gonna have our two post lift there. That's 220. We're gonna have air compressor. That's 220. Welder, that's 220. And then we'll hit get, we're gonna have an electric hot sea pressure washer. That's also 220. Then in the living quarters, we have a 50 amp, 36 inch induction cooktop, two ovens, um, your dryer, of course, washing machine and dryer. We're gonna have some crazy shop lighting in here. It's LED, but still there's gonna be quite a few of them. So we started kind of adding everything together, taking into account our 50 amp RV plug out there, all the other exterior plugs and uh, being able to have a lot of circuits, uh, 20 amp breakers on our on our counter plugs. So you can charge stuff, whatever. You never have to worry about tripping stuff. So taking that all into account, we decided to go with 400 amps. So we just don't have to freaking worry about it. 200 amp, you're just always gonna be worried. Oh yeah, also outside there is where a swim spa is gonna be. So you got your pumps for that, your heaters for that. So that's another big draw. That's probably another 40 or 50 amp uh, breaker for that crap out there. Morning guys. Today is the day. We are completely out of our house up at Emma Lake. Bittersweet boys, bittersweet. We built this entire house. Basically me, my wife, and my brother, Stephen, k &S Contracting. Look him up if you need a good contractor. <laughs> but in 2005, I think we built this house. Uh, we built it as a cabin, so that's why it's kind of used <laughs> cabin grade uh, stuff and then in 2007 uh, we took the job up in Prince Albert and moved up and moved into our cabin and then we built the garage in 2007 we put in geothermal and then we ended up redoing a bunch of stuff we redid the kitchen we did redid the bathrooms we only had baseboard heaters in the wood fireplace so we put in geothermal uh, heating in the garage and heating in the house and then we just kept upgrading after that we did the entire backyard the decks fireplace stuff like that let's go look at that real quick we definitely, definitely need a one last cut, I think. Uh, we built a couple sheds, some 8 by 12 sheds, and uh, we built this big deck. I think it's about 30, 32 by 20, something like that. And we built this thing. Like basically off of, you know, Mrs. Osta kind of drew something on a napkin. <laughs> and that's how we did it. We built an entire firebox at a fire brick. It was awesome. Maybe I'll put a couple pictures right here. But uh, we built up the... The fire brick into a chimney and then we use 12 inch chimney flue for the rest. This is all cinder cinder blocks and then the wings are just framed out of wood and then uh, faced in stone for a fireplace and a wood box. So man, it works so good. The draft is so awesome. Like you take that top off, you light a fire, you never get smoke in your face, you get awesome heat. We spent many uh, days back on this back deck after a good ride. But on to bigger and better things. We just, you know, we're just out of room at this property. Even though it's almost an acre, we just, you know, they have really uh, strict building regulations up in this RM. So you couldn't, I couldn't, we couldn't build any bigger of a garage, blah, blah, blah. So we are kind of, kind of screwed. So bought a quarter section of land and building our freaking dream house shop. So this is uh, one of our last loads. This will be the second last load. We're taking the machines over. So we got full pole in the front. We got bruiser. And then we got the Sherp and Ghost on the back. Then we'll have to come back for our sled is still here. Uh, Carrie's little Honda motorbike. And then Deep Six has got to go too. And then our gun cabinet and our tool toolbox. Um, basically, all everything else is staying. All these cabinets are staying. We got to basically uh, put all that stuff in a box. But almost everything else is staying. We got to load up dehumidifier and a couple other things. But basically, we are out. Compressor staying. Who's real staying? Maybe I should take my targets down. <laughs> and then we got to get the welder and the chainsaw and stuff out of there. But so it's about 10 a.m. We got uh, we got our freezers and fridges empty. Those are staying, so those are all empty. We got all the food moved over, so we're doing pretty good. So we're just gonna rip out to the property, drop these guys off, come back and and do another load. We made it. This is Asta. She's pretty much a uh, jack of all trades. Pull the trailer, no problem. On gravel, no problem. Even though she grew up in the city, she's kind of a city girl. One time when we were first together a long time ago, she's driving driving a little Volkswagen. 
<laughs> and she lost control and totally hit the ditch and I thought she was gonna die. I was following her. But remember when we test drove that Volkswagen by Saskatoon? Oh, that was a long time ago. I'm like, I had some swag today. Yeah, no, today you're good. Yeah, I might have loaded, uh, did it seem like it was a little swaying? Yeah. Yeah, the freaking uh, side by side in the back, I should have put it up a little tighter to the quad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, it's crazy. We've got, we've had so much heat the last, like, even over three weeks, over like a month, we've had just a lot of heat. So the crops, the farmers are just like, please let this continue. It's a freaking gorgeous day. Are those grasshoppers that make that sound? Yeah. As I lived on the farm my whole life and I still don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is it, man. We're going to be in that baby for like two months. <laughs> no, it's good. No, I'm not complaining. Oh, totally. It looks funny with the car wash bay, eh? Changed it a lot. It's gonna be like my dance floor up there. We're gonna we're gonna do like a zip line from the balcony over to the car wash or like a tightrope. You have to walk it. No. Yes. You gotta learn how to do tightrope. We're gonna have like stripper pole for you. Stripper <laughs> pole for you. <laughs> that could be for Birch. Ah. <laughs> uh, awesome stuff, man. Lots and lots of stuff's been getting done. Electrical, yeah, more so stuff's getting done. Now to yeah, we have to uh, somehow try to scrub these tire tracks off because we d we ha we do not have the concrete sealed just yet, and we got to dig out the dirt and all these expansion. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, basically just clean them out. Yeah, it shouldn't be packed in too much, so it should be pretty easy. Most of it's just sawdust, but we got to clean those out so we can put some. Uh, some junk in there. I, see that left the door. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I jammed the table against that one, so at least that one stayed closed. So hard. you've seen everything now, hey? Yep. Yeah. It's nothing new. We can't get. Oh, look at front doors open. Yeah. That's oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be awesome when we get the full size door in here. That's gonna be one giant door. There, now it's locked. Hundred percent secure. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I said there's Is there a party? <laughs> We're gonna have to restock the cooler, man. We're gonna have to make another run. Yeah, but we'll be living here, so it won't matter. Yeah. This is our home. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm so ready. ready? Uh, I'm so sure. ready. No, let's just talk about the exciting news. The lake? They're coming, uh, they're, they got to bring the little excavator. Uh, I was telling you guys so they can dig down 12 feet to connect the well. So while he's here, he's going to take the little excavator down there and he's going to dig down and see. And if it's dry, we're bringing the dozer back. We're bringing the dozer and we're pushing out that big lake. And we're going to push out some other pits, like a big freaking bounty hole pit and another race pit. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, the zip line. I don't know if we talked about that. The yeah, so up on that top of that hill. We're gonna basically put a big telephone pole in and we're gonna uh, build a platform up there. We're gonna have this huge zip line that goes all the way down. Where? Already? Where? Yeah, right there. See him? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just flying. Yeah, so we're gonna have this huge zip line down into the freaking little lake there. So we'll uh, run an aerator and stuff so the water stays good so it doesn't get stagnant and stinky like a slough. We'll run some big uh, wind powered aerator. <laughs> Jonathan, you see him? Jonathan. We need a megaphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to give your biggest yell. Yee -yee! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh he, did, he did a little pop yeah, wheelie. <laughs> okay, let's get this loaded. I can bleep. I can bleep that out. Yeah. These are all the special happy moments. Yeah, this is gonna be a really cute, oh, look at really cute corner yeah, here. Started getting, uh, no, not yet. No. This is, this is heaven right here. Yeah. I just want this. So we can have heat and stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna go worry about that for a little yeah. while. Oh, I don't know. Pop. Shotgun. Oh. Shotgun. Listen to that guy. Spruce beetle is gonna land on you, nope. eat you. Look at all this stuff. This all extra? Look at these little mini culverts. Like let's just notice number one, um, thank you to Connor Rowe. Because guess what? We what? were on, what? on site the one day. Yeah. And he's like, this room right here. It didn't have any uh, plans for heating and uh, air conditioning. Oh, so, so he just stuck it in? Yeah. Oh, so I would have been either freezing or boiling in the office. But I, but I think the Jackson Koblick 
fight with, was fighting with us. Oh no! He Which one? This one right here. Which one? Poor guy. <laughs> oh. There it is. Oh, it looks that good. Looks, yeah. The returns look good. All the heat vents look good. Man, that looks awesome. So we have to find some kind of round things or round ones that go into rectangle ones. Like, you know, the, the things. I know nothing. Yeah. Looks great, though. No, I think they put, they put like, the, the stuff on there. Oh, okay. So, and what's going to be really nice is this entire floor is heated, too. So we're going to have a nice warm floor in the winter. So it's... Did it, you walk through here for everyone? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I walked and explained everything and how it's going to be. This walk into the closet. This is my bedroom. <laughs> so that's decent this size. Is, one <laughs> I'll sleep in there. It looks you awesome. Sleep in the little corner. What are those little things for there? These little this guys. This is the return. Oh. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see where he's got it there. Awesome. Cool, and man. I wanted to say another thank you to all the guys working. Um, Framers. From Conroe to Lightway with the, our son. Yeah. Um, to doing um, electrical. Doing the framers. They all cleaned up after themselves. Yeah, super. They like, look at, like, we did not sweep this and clean this up. Although, he's like, <laughs> Jackson sweeping the floor. I'm like, yeah. oh, look at that. He's like, I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're paying for it in the end, so. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. Most guys don't clean up. Totally, them. yeah. Very, so, very, very clean everyone's so been. To, it's uh, been really nice. Auto and bought this broom, and it came in handy. Because <laughs> otherwise, just a chee chee broom. <laughs> if anybody uh, wants to supply us with a broom, don't just Well, that's freaking awesome. We got to get this unloaded, go back. We got to load up our sled, um, Mrs. Austin's little motorbike, and the six and six deep six. And then. Uh, I got a new name for the Sherpa, and I'm not telling What? What? Secret. What is it? Tell it. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> Because it is the 07 yeah, serial number. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We could put that on there somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that's your little room in there. Yeah. Get in there. Right here. <laughs> it's the pet room while you're under there. <laughs> We're going to put. <laughs> There's going to be some storage. Uh, once we get the step steps built here, there'll be some storage under there. So. All right, I'm I'm pushing eight minutes, so that's good enough for now. All right, you gonna get a hee hee? Holy! Yeah, that's a long way out of <laughs> I'm like, am I pushing it the wrong way? New Sherpa is over five thousand pounds. Oh boy, I hope it doesn't roll back on you then. I got her in reverse. I'm gonna do boosted launch if I have to. <laughs> Oh! It might. Oh! Oh! call this work ever it's like play 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 mostly but packing was not playing he didn't like that part that was not his fun time this trailer is awesome invaluable as well certain things that just are awesome Woohoo! Here's his working. <laughs> Just turn into playing. Just don't roll it. That's all I have to say. <gasps> oh boy, that is steep. That is too steep!
Well, it kind of gives the car wash be a little reference, eh? Still got a little bit of room left, so we're good that to go. door is just big enough. Just, just. <laughs> you could park that sherp in the wash bay. Yeah, totally. It'd fit in there. Oh, let's try it. Push it off and I'll, I'll do you know also what we're doing later? Mrs. Asta has never she's never jumped anything where all four wheels have been off the ground. So we're taking the freaking bobcat, we're making a freaking jump, and she's gonna jump the X3. And maybe we'll try to jump deep six <laughs> Just to see how well it flies, if we can get all six tires off. But we are totally making a jump and she's gonna, I'll do a couple test runs, I'll tell her what miles per hour to hit it at, and she'll just fly. And that'll be her first jump ever. So that should be awesome. But that's later. Like Miss Sauce said, we got a crap ton of stuff to do today. So we gotta get everything else moved out here. We gotta get the fridge going in this baby, turned on, and the air conditioning. <laughs> Look at how freaking low the creek is. <laughs> Like a few weeks ago, it was up into the grass. It was wide as heck and flowing like crazy. Look at it now, a little trickle. A little cold trickle, but still gorgeous. Look at the freaking rocks in here. <laughs> that poor sea dew. <laughs> yeah, when the, when the water level is really high, I think a guy would be able to coast over most of those without hitting them, but there are a lot of rocks. See all those rocks? Check that out there crap ton of rocks up there too but yeah after harvest is done let's get with some rain and then turn it into 70 inches of snow <laughs> is this first time you've seen full pull in person jonathan yes. what do you think <laughs> we got to dig a big bounty hole on our property somewhere a big mud pit and just smash it with full pull and whatever else. <laughs> Mrs. Austin's probably like, where did he go? We got stuff to do today. All right. Oh yeah, boys, the sled's moving too. <laughs> nothing to see here, nothing to see here. I thought <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> boys I just had to take a real quick little video of <laughs> I don't know if it's been this clean since we built it in 2007 <laughs> just got a little bit of dirt to sweep up but we are completely moved out the new owners wanted the compressor and hose reel we left them some paint and stain some bulbs just some kind of extra stuff for the shop so, and our, dang, we had to leave our beautiful cabinets, but we'll get some new ones for the new place. Fridge, freezer stays, all these cabinets. So they got a pretty good setup. They get to move right in and, and uh, got a lot of storage already. So, but anyways, I just want to take a real quick, short little video just because <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time since it's been that clean. So right on. Okay, guys. <laughs> Remember at noon when we were so excited and happy and <laughs> so full of... <laughs> it is freaking quarter to three. That was a, like a 20, 20 hour day. Look at what but I we thought. freaking did fruit it. Cup. Ooh, fruit cups. Those probably aren't good anymore. No, I'm okay. Think so? Okay. We are... We got some stuff to put away. But we are officially, officially out of our house. We are efficiently campers for the next month or two. 
Hey, you better not be peeing in here. Puppies are here, they're excited. So we're gonna get some stuff put away, get the water heater turned on and have a shower and go to freaking bed. Good afternoon, guys. Look at this. Boom, garage doors. So we got steel craft doors out of Prince Albert installing our overhead doors. Our 10 by 10, 16 by 16. And then we got two more 10 by 10s to go here. One on that wall, outside wall, and one on this inside wall. So it looks like now they're just winding the springs. The ultra dangerous part. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be awesome to have that closed in. We just gotta find some actual doorknobs so we can have a closing door. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> That's a good little guy. And did Forbes say they're gonna get it done today? Yeah. I'm not sure. Tomorrow. What? Tomorrow? Yeah. So we're gonna have power tomorrow, which is really exciting. Okay, we gotta take pictures of this. Sending to the build inspector. Make sure everything's good here. And I don't know if you guys know, but last night at 3:30 uh, a.m. we finished moving. <laughs> so that's our new home right there. <laughs> And two puppies. Two people and two puppies. Here, I'll take pictures. All right. Boy, it's weighted like perfect. Nice. He said the install went really good. So, uh, really good? hey, really yeah, probably because the framers are like, um, he said, uh, basically we went to the 10 foot doors. They go straight up because we got the wall room. Then 16 foot door peels back. And then I'm not sure what we're doing in the car wash bay. We'll find out tomorrow. So the ins. So it's like this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then this one might be something else, like a roll-up door, you guys were saying? Oh, he said it's like $6,000. Oh. oh, geez. <laughs> so that's a regular garage door it is. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it for uh, day 745 of the build. <laughs> things, are, things are going really good, though. Like, it's awesome. Um, so uh, Aaron's company uh, was here today. They started on the roof. They put some... What's the product called along the edge? It's kind of like ice and water shield. And then tomorrow they're gonna completely cover the roof in another product. So we'll actually be 100% waterproof after tomorrow. And maybe even tomorrow they'll start the tin. Hopefully it's not windy for them. And uh, frick in a few days, we're gonna have a, a roof on this place. Won't that be exciting? Whoa, get that Walmart mask out of here. Boys, you know what this means? They are completely done the connections at our place and now they are just connecting it at the pole. Okay, can so. we just say one thing though? Check out the field. That's how long it took. <laughs> <laughs> it's nicely turned, ready for harvest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I bet this afternoon we are gonna have power, which doesn't really sound like a big thing, but when you're living in a trailer, living off a generator, power is kind of a big deal. So I wonder if they had to run a new breaker. That's our breaker right there. That's just for us. Sweet! All right. Oh, check out this path. It's Look at this road, how beauty this road is. So in the next couple days, the RM's coming in and they're gonna dig up a road and replace the culvert down at the bottom too, make it a tiny bit wider. So that's gonna be sweet too. Things are just turning up aces. I think we're gonna get a start on the roof today. That's important because it kind of rained like crazy last night at about 3 a.m. and blew like crazy. It was a, it was a storm. This road's so bumpy that I actually can't lean forward to... to. <laughs> I want to grab that, but I can't. I bought some ant traps. I don't think they're the right ones. They're oh. all what they had. <laughs> they no. only had that. <laughs> but I just... Let's everybody look at this cool uh, as it changes with the seasons. I took so some drone, drone video yesterday. And you can really see the difference. Everything was so green a few months ago and now... It's starting to get the rain mats more, are still here. more autumn. Oh, wait. Yeah. Swamp mats? Yeah, swamp, swamp mats, mats and not rain mats. <laughs> Who 
Whose truck is that? I'm not sure. Oh. Anybody's truck Surpri- is a good truck. Surprises. Yeah, exactly. Trucks, trucks are here? Oh, that's good. Maybe that's the, the roof. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, awesome. Oh, well, he made it up the hill. That's good. Oh, it looked like he just got here. <laughs> Open his door. You guys remember in our previous video where I had to dig this hole out of this big bank? Boom! They put, did you see the red poles they put so yeah. David wouldn't hammer it? <laughs> Beautiful. So there's our transformer. So like I said, it's all connected here. Goes to that box on the wall, then goes from that box underground to the utility room. I'd like to say that it takes an army. No kidding. That's lightweight, Forbes. Um, Sass Power. Sass Power, Larry. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> yeah, totally. If you're ever watching. Um, also, like just the amount of crew, like the framers, uh, oh, huge. David Clausen and Fair. And uh, Square. Fair and Square. I love that name. Well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim Fair and his, his team. Um, so many people are. Connor Rowe and Connor his team. And everybody just making this thing happen. Totally. This is our dream. And wow. And 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 Willie. Look at concrete. the trucks here right now. <laughs> oh, I think Jackson's here. Who am I missing? We got Willie the concrete. We got oh Pulsons. We got B &B. Steelcraft. They got, got another door Steelcraft. in. Another door. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. All right. of, think, everybody everybody even included in like yeah. everything that's going on totally totally awesome okay we got to get this lift into the into there so we'll move some equipment Boys, our roof is here. Doesn't really look like it, but these uh, rolls of metal pass through that awesome machine there, get the correct contour, and then go up on the roof. That's gonna be freaking exciting, <laughs> exciting video. <laughs> That's gonna be cool stuff. So, and huge other thing happened today, we have power. They finally got our power hooked up. Okay guys, check out this freaking awesome process here. It goes from a raw spool of steel through these dies to this exact profile. And to the exact length you need. So it starts off just a spool of metal. And then it gets processed through the machine. So you have nice full lengths, no seams. So that'll go from the peak all the way down to, to the overhead, two foot overhang, one, one solid piece. And this is a standing seamless, so there are no fasteners to worry about leaking later on. I forget how much he was saying, they're gonna have to run a crap ton of load of steel just for the shop part. 120 sheets, he said, to run off. <laughs> we got about five done, so. But we basically just got our set up and done. That is a cool freaking process. It actually pumps it out pretty good. We'll see if we can get a little video of the working side. So there's all the rollers and dies that bend and shape that. You ready for this? Ba boom! <laughs> that is a lot of freaking metal, but that's a massive roof. 
These guys are just killing it, right on. Now they're doing some shorter pieces, maybe for the other parts of the roof. Boys, the sun has gone down. We did some funny drone stuff up on the roof, you'll see. These guys are still cranking out the freaking panels. Talk about a deadly crew. Green Concept Innovations. Aaron, he's got a good freaking crew here, man. They're just pumping these panels out. They figure they're gonna get one whole side of the big roof done tomorrow. That'll be cool. We'll have some really cool drone footage for you guys. Man, huge, huge step today. I've probably mentioned it five times already, but our power finally got hooked up. Look at this little light they got. We got a single plug right now. <laughs> And then Brandon run a big 8.3 cable. So that cable right there is going, it goes all the way across the ceiling. I don't know if you can see it. All the way across and down the wall and that's our 50 amp RV plug. So we got to pull the trailer up a little more, buy another 50 amp, 50 foot extension cord and then we'll plug our trailer in. And no more generator. And look at this sweet setup. Connor got a good start on the boiler and the mass tank. Look at that checker plate, man. This is gonna look like, woo, look like a million bucks when it's done. Man, that's crazy. I thought the boiler would be a lot larger, but I guess that's a powerful package packed in that little baby. That is freaking cool. So he'll basically be using that wall for all the boiler and all the heat lines. This wall here is gonna be our water treatment. So if we need a softener, some filters, this wall here is electrical, and we got a little bit of room, which is saved for a special surprise. That's not 100% nailed down, so I don't really want to say. It's basically, <laughs> I'll say it doesn't matter. It's basically like a, a server rack, and uh, we're hoping to have a bunch of lights, a bunch of blinds, a bunch of stuff all controlled, like all on apps, this home automation. So hopefully that comes through and we can make that happen for you guys. And then this wall here basically is just the furnace. They needed a one meter clearance for all these big cabinets for the 400 amp service. So that's why the furnace had to go here. It's a little close to the door, but that's the clearance they need. Everything's got its own set of rules and conditions. So you gotta, you gotta abide by, it's like the dude, you gotta abide. I'm excited to have a normal size furnace filter. Our geothermal at home took a 36 by 20, I think filter and holy it was hard to find and they were expensive. This is like ones you can buy at Walmart. I'm gonna set up an auto stacker, like have 20 filters, and every day it's gonna change a filter. Just kidding. <laughs> but that'd be pretty sweet. So we ran into uh, quite a large issue we figured out today. Uh, since our uh, kitchen guy came and he did some measurements, uh, because this is basically, uh, the footing was built basically as a shop, the back is two by eight walls and the front is two by six walls. So now we have this freaking inch and a half to two inch piece of concrete to deal with. So you know what we're gonna have to do? The only thing we figured out is we're gonna have to strap every stud. We're gonna have to strap so that's basically the same width from, from the bottom all the way to the top. It's the only way to do it so it looks proper. We're gonna lose two inches of, of uh, square footage in our place, but It'll be okay. And then that's gonna give us a little bit of an issue because these are obviously made for two by six walls. So this is gonna to have to get built out the same amount as well. So basically we're gonna have a bit of pine, pine casing, which really sucks, but it's one of those things, right? We're totally inexperienced people. We have never built a house slash shop before. So, um, and the door as well. This is just a temporary door, but the, the main door will fill up this entire area here. So the main doors, that's gonna have to get built out as well, that window as well. So just the ones on the exterior walls, everything else will be okay. So, but if we counted 95 studs, we got a strap tomorrow. So we'll get the old table saw buzzing, run off two inch strips, hammer on two inch strips. And then we only got to move a couple boxes. Thank God that all the electrical's not done. So it's kind of a hassle, but good that we kind of caught it now and we can remedy the situation right now. And then it won't affect insulation. Actually, it'll help insulation. We might even be able to put a bit more insulation in the walls. So all in all, when everything's said and done, it's probably a blessing. That's how we're gonna play this off. It's a blessing. <laughs> okay, boys.
Thank you.